Hey, Gabby. Hey. What you up to? Oh, I'm just looking at artwork for today's episode. Oh, cool. Hey, you know, I've actually been working on a little something myself. Oh, yeah? What do you think? Oh, wow. Um, hey, A for effort. Oh, thanks. Uh -huh. Oh, but look at this. Oh, beauty. I guess you know it when you see it. Welcome to Catholic Central. I'm Nick. And I'm Gabby. The Catholic Church teaches that there are three things that every human being longs for and responds to, regardless of their religious beliefs. Truth, goodness, and beauty. Also known as the transcendentals, because they transcend the ordinary and point us to the divine. Even ancient philosophers like Aristotle and Plato, who were not Christians, recognized this. They talked about innate universal properties embedded in everyone's being. These are things that can't be measured, but we all long for them. In the Middle Ages, Catholic philosophers like Aquinas elaborated on these transcendentals. What did they have to say? Let's start with truth. Humans have always had a desire for truth, even if they wonder what it really is. What is truth? Good question. We all seem to know there's something out there beyond us. And we're not just talking about the Death Star. Yes, well, that's exactly why I built my own spaceship. And also to leave Earth behind after I've used up all its resources and society inevitably collapses. Well, that's not exactly what we're talking about, but we're talking about truth everywhere. All truth. All forms of it. It's like staring at the horizon. We can't see beyond it, but we suspect that something is out there. Catholics believe that what's out there exists, and it's knowable. Some ways God reveals it are in the natural order of the world, and through scripture, and the sacred teachings of the church. So most people believe there's some kind of truth. But what about the second transcendental, goodness? Well, just like truth, all people have an innate sense of goodness, or justice. That's why when something bad happens, we complain that it's not fair. We all have a sense of fairness, of what's right and wrong, if you don't believe me. Ask someone next time you steal their parking space. That was you in my space this morning? No comment. <gasps> Injustice. We know it when we see it. All jokes aside though, injustice is prevalent. Poverty, violence, murder, lying, stealing, deception. The church has a long history of trying to address these injustices, to bring goodness to the world feeding the hungry, caring for the sick and poor, caring for God's creation. But wait, why should anyone listen to what the church has to say about goodness? That's true. These injustices can also be prevalent within Catholic spaces. The church is filled with humans, and humans are bound to make mistakes. This doesn't negate what the church says about goodness. The church still holds it as an ideal to strive for honest reform. So we all sense that truth exists, and we all strive for goodness and justice. How about the third transcendental, beauty? You know how it feels when you hear a great song or see an emotional movie or painting, or you get choked up when you see an amazing sunset? That's beauty. We recognize it regardless of who we are or where we're from. It goes beyond culture and personal preferences. It's universal. We see it in the harmony, unity, and wholeness of created things. Exactly. Like, to me, there's nothing more beautiful than a perfectly executed math problem. Wow. <laughs> a little nerdy, but, um... Beauty goes past our chattering minds and straight to the heart. That's why Catholics have placed a high priority on expressing their faith through art, music, architecture, and literature. So, what does all of this have to say about God? Well, every effect has a cause. If we can see the effects of truth, goodness, and beauty in the world, this suggests they're caused by something. The church believes that cause is God, who created the world and everything in it. It's like Catholic poet Gerard Manley Hopkins said, the world is charged with the grandeur of God. Truth, goodness, and beauty point to God. And when we respond to these transcendentals, we're responding to God, whether or not we know it. So the next time you're wondering about the truth, Know that's a good thing. It means you know that truth exists, and we should pursue it. 
And when you strive for goodness and justice in the world, you can do something about it. Volunteer at a soup kitchen, help a neighbor, be there for someone when they're going through a hard time. Whatever you're passionate about, take action to bring goodness into the world. Go out and enjoy beauty and nature and music and art. Heck, go create your own works of beauty. When you pursue truth, goodness, and beauty, you're doing what you were made for. You're connecting with God, and you're getting closer to the fullness and joy of life with Him. And that is beautiful.